To determine if BH3 is polar or nonpolar, we'll first start with the Lewis structure. This describes the distribution of those valence electrons around the molecule, and it can help us determine the polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for BH3. When we look at BH3, we can see that there are no lone pairs and that there are three bonds between the boron and the hydrogen atoms. What we need to do now, though, is kind of imagine this structure in three dimensions so we can tell where these atoms are oriented. We'll use valence shell electron pair repulsion theory to figure out what shape this BH3 molecule has. So as I add hydrogen atoms to the central atom, the purple, that's the B, the boron, I'll add the hydrogen atoms and watch what happens. So I add one hydrogen atom, I add another, and they spread out. They're pushing or repelling against each other to be as far away as possible. And then let's add the third one. So once we do that, we have this BH3 molecule and you can see that it's symmetrical. There's really no positive or negative side. All the atoms are equidistant, and that means that it's a nonpolar molecule. There are no areas of charge, and there's no net difference in polarity. So we can say there's no net dipole for the molecule. So the Lewis structure, that helps us understand how the valence electrons are distributed, and then that valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, that gives us the shape. From the shape, we can tell if the molecule is polar or not. So because this is a symmetrical molecule, there's no net dipole, and BH3 is nonpolar. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.